Hi friends! I This hopefully is a really short video. I just want to do an update video. Um, I still am taking the iodine and the NAC, the N-acetylcholine with uh, selenium and molybdenum in it, and I am still having more energy and sleeping less. I feel so much better. Um, so that is working for, so the Lugol's iodine and the NAC, and I've been taking uh, not every day a drop in water. Um, this is a more powerful one than the 2.2 that you can get, like Crow's brand or whatever, Lugol's. But I do want to try the nascent iodine. Um, I haven't ordered it yet. Kind of been really busy. Got a really crazy week coming up. But um, still having lots of energy, getting lots of stuff done. Um, and I take vitamin C with that. Just watch my other last update video on that. Um, and so that's good. Um, but I do think it's upsetting the parasites. I was talking about that in my last video about how, um, the, they seem to have left areas where I'm putting the iodine. So like I've been using this, um, yeast cream. It's like an antifungal cream, any kind of, uh, antifungal, any, any yeast, yeast infection, any kind of antifungal cream works. Um, and then I've been putting a drop of the Lugol's um, once I put the cream on and then I rub it in. And today I just was sitting at church and my hands were like this and it's, it, they're so soft. They haven't been the soft in years. They're just, there's no rashes between the fingers. It's so soft. I love it. My elbows where there's normal scaly things is so soft. I, I normally, so I told you on the other videos just quickly, I put a little bit of this on my hand, put a drop of this on, on the back of the hand and then I kind of do this and then I rub it on my elbows. And then I told you A and D ointment. So lately I've been using this um, veterinary balm surge events. I don't know. I got it on clearance at Walmart, but um, so I've been using this on, I just rub some of this on, on top of it just to keep the cream on when I go, I just put it on before bed. Um, they say iodine will keep you up if you use it before bed, but I'm so tired all the time. I don't have that problem. Um, I, I have other reasons why I can't sleep, but the iodine is not the problem. Um, also, the tea thing. So I can feel the parasites where they normally are not being where they normally are. So I think the iodine is affecting them. Um, but just don't take just the iodine because that causes, could cause thyroid, thyroid problems. My thyroid problems showed up when I was taking high doses of the iodine, but I didn't know I needed the N-acetylcholine and other things, um, magnesium and other things to absorb it. So re wa research that, watch the other videos. I talk about that. Um, also, um, I am every couple of days taking a little bit of black start molasses that make sure it's unsulfured if you take that, um, and it's got natural iron in it. And I realized that when I was pregnant, I was craving black licorice and I'd go through and I'd eat, I'd buy everything that had black licorice flavor and I'd eat a little bit of it just to find this flavor. And once I started taking this, I realized that it was the molasses that they were made from. So that helps a little bit. I just take maybe like a, quarter, a half a teaspoon because it can make you have loose bowel movements if you take too much. So because of the sugars in it. So, um, I just, take that every maybe every day or two and then I also take the iron um natural iron that I've been taking every day or two I don't I don't like taking all the pills at the same time because of my um yellow eyes but I did notice the other day I think my yellow eyes um this one's more yellow than this one but if I do this you can kind of see this one's more yellow at like this side is white but then they're both yellow on the inside that it's get. I think it's getting a little bit better as long as I, um, stay away from fats. And I think it's helping my, this stuff is helping my fatty liver because you need the iodine to absorb and, uh, utilize the, uh, iodine helps break down the fats in your system. So I think I got fatty liver because I don't have iodine and I've got the goiter because I didn't have iodine. So there's that update. Also, I've talked about this before. Um, my brother used it. He was having teeth problems. Um, he mentioned that he was doing better, but at that point I was already using it, but I didn't share it with my family about it because I have the bumps in the back of the throat and everything. Um, and I knew the hydrogen peroxide didn't, they didn't like that because I used that on my skin. And so this has hydrogen peroxide and it's teeth whitening. It's from the dollar store. It's a buck. Um, I used to gargle with it every night. Um, and hold it in my mouth to kill off the parasites at the back of the throat. But when I started having liver problems and I had the yellowing in the eyes, I was worried that the peroxide might be getting toxic in my system. So I stopped swishing every night with it and I would just do it every so often. But 
I was using some toothpaste that had some clove oil in it and I felt like the clove oil could be hurting my liver because that can be toxic to the liver. So I stopped using that and I was brushing my teeth with this. So I'd pour this on my toothbrush and brush my teeth just with this. But since I've been doing that, um, that black line has showed up around the same time anyway. And I think that the fluoride in the toothpaste was killing, uh, was keeping, they didn't like the fluoride. I don't think the parasites liked the fluoride. So I think it was kind of keeping them out of my mouth. They, well, they also, it could be the spearmint. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably the oils, the essential oils that they didn't like. So the spearmint, the peppermint that are normally in the wintergreen or that are in toothpaste. Thinking about it now, it might just be the oils that they, because they know, I know they don't like those oils. So um, anyway, whatever it was in the toothpaste when I brushed my teeth, but then it was killing off the, the fluoride. If I'd hold it, my mouth was killing off the natural flora and I was getting yeast um, rashes in my mouth. So um, I think that taking the iodine and rubbing it on the rashes elsewhere has driven the parasites deeper into the muscles. So um, my thigh muscles versus the pelvic bowl, like the, the bottom of the pelvic bowl, you could feel them crawling around just under the skin in the pelvic bowl, the bottom of the pelvic area. And so I've been putting the iodine with this yeast cream in that area and now they're going into the big muscles. So the upper thigh, I'll have lots of burrowing pain in my upper thigh. Yesterday or the day before is the first time I've actually had it in my bum, <laughs> my gluteus muscles. They've been burrowing in my bum muscles. And I'm like, oh, this is so painful. I hate when they burrow into the muscles because it's so painful. So they, I am doing stuff they aren't liking, the iodine. And um, so, but my hands are so soft. I don't know if you could see compared to what they normally are. They're just so soft. I'm just so happy as I've been really consistent using them. Everything is starting to get a little bit better. I'm having more energy and I, you can still see I've got a guy goiter and it's just hard to swallow and I choke on my food and I just I keep ch choke on my saliva even. It's, it's awful. But anyway, I'm hoping it'll all get better. So I wanted to share that with you. So I think, um, so this was the real reason of this video that I can feel I've never had this happen before, but I think they aren't liking the areas where the iodine's getting. And so they have been burrowing <laughs> it up here. I can feel them in the root by moving past the roots of my teeth. It is so freaky. So I've probably felt this about 20 times in the last week, week and a half. And most of the time it's been on this side where that, that black line is, where I told you that like they come in and, and my, my mom and another family member have the black teeth and I started getting it. And you can't really see it in this slide, but I'm going to try and take a picture. I noticed it really bad in the car the other day. So I think if I use the right filter, hopefully in the car and take a picture of it, I, maybe you can see it better than the slide and the reflection of my yellowy teeth or whatever. So they, this is a new symptom. And I, so I wanted to share that with you guys, because if you've had this feeling or people who are looking up this symptom, they'll be able to find it. So burrowing in the roots of the teeth. My daughter said she felt this on her mission when she was in Taiwan. And I have never felt it before. This is a new one. So I can feel it kind of weaving in and out amongst the roots of my teeth. And today or last night, yesterday was the first time I actually felt them in this side of the root of my teeth. So they have been in the sinuses in the past, but I've been taking a lot of, um, colloid I, I got strep this week. So I've been taking a lot of colloidal silver and I've been taking oregano and I've been taking other things. And even though I've had that and I should be wiped out, I still have had a lot of energy because I'm taking these other things. So I think all that stuff that I've been taking, the colloidal silver and the, the thieves oil back in my mouth, they've had to move. They're not liking all of these different things that I've been doing. And so uh, lots and lots of burrowing up here in the in the, gu the gum area and the teeth root area, not in the sinuses. I feel them in the sinuses before, but this is different. They're actually burrowing in around the roots of my teeth and I can feel that nothing in the lower, but all like up in here. So, well, they could be down here. I'm just not feeling them, but um, I have felt them in my throat a lot, especially on this right side a lot. Um, but so anyway, I just want to share that new symptom and updates on what has been working now. So I think I'm going to go back to using the peppermint wintergreen, whatever toothbrush, toothpaste, go stay away from the clove oil one and uh, and start brushing with the, the minty toothpaste again, because I think it, it keeps them out of the mouth. Um, and then I'm actually going to start um, 
swishing with uh, hydrogen peroxide stuff again um, every night and and get them out of this area. So also I had that thought a bit again ago about Parkinson's disease with the them burrowing up and down and moving around and the lesions and the scarring. I really think that they're they're going to find something linking Parkinson's and this parasite. And the last thing I wanted to share was that I have noticed that uh, I've seen in the last week I've seen is two bees just sitting on the sidewalk. They're not flying, they're not doing anything, and, and I'm coming close to them within a, a footstep or two away, and they're just sitting there honeybees. And I think this parasite is is killing off the honeybee population. You know, they talk about the honeybees all dying off, and they don't know why. Um, and I do mention this on a blog post, but I don't think I've ever mentioned it on a video, but I do think this is killing off the honeybees. Um, and so I just wanted to share that because honeybees don't just sit on the sidewalk and let you walk up to them. Um, and, and the last week I've seen two in my area, just sitting on the different days, just sitting on the cement. And I don't think that's a normal thing because <laughs> I've never seen it before. So I do think that they're being killed off by this parasite, especially if it's a real rampant in our area, which I know that it is. So anyway, I just want to share those things, a quick update. And I, um, but I'm so, I wanted to do this because I'm feeling so much better on the Lugals and, um, parasites are still there. I can film them and they're still doing their thing, but I just wanted you to know that there's hope for the energy. <laughs> So iodine, Lugol's, and and uh, make sure you're taking it with the right stuff and watch my other videos about that. Anyway, I hope you have a very, very blessed and happy day.